Dear students, do you know how far is sun from the earth? It is approximately 149.6 million kilometers. How much time light rays take to travel from sun to our planet? It is only 8 minutes. So what is the time taken by light to travel 1 meter? Obviously it is very less. Isn't it? How to represent such small numbers? In today's class, we are going to learn how to write such small numbers. We will also learn some of the properties of such expressions. In earlier classes, you have learned methods to express very large numbers in the chapter Exponents and Powers. Today's class is a continuation of it. Let us quickly revise what we already know about exponents. Powers can be considered as a shortcut way to write repeated multiplication. For example, 10 times 10 times 10, we will denote it in exponential form 10 cube. Here we will say that 1000 is equal to the third power of 10. 10 cube is read as 10 raised to the power of 3. 10 is called the base and 3 is called the exponent. Exponents are used to express very big numbers. For example, computer's memory. 1 gigabyte of RAM is 10 raised to 9 bytes. In this class, we will learn how exponents are used to measure very small things like time taken by light rays to travel 1 meter, average size of bacteria and so on. Now, observe the following numbers. 10 raised to 3 is 1000, 10 square is 100, 10 raised to 1 is 10. Can you see any pattern? As the exponents decreases by 1, the value becomes 1 tenth of the previous one. Then what will be 10 power 0? It must be 1 tenth of 10, which is 1. Yes, 10 power 0 is defined as 1. Continuing the above pattern, what about 10 power minus 1? 10 power minus 1 is 1 tenth of the previous number, which is 1, that is 1 by 10. So 10 power minus 1 is 1 by 10. Then 10 power minus 2 is 1 by 10 divided by 10 is 1 by 10 times of 1 by 10 which is 1 by 100. Similarly, 10 power minus 3 is 1 by 100 divided by 10 that is 1 by 100 times 1 by 10 which is 1 by 1000. Thus, we get 10 power minus 1 equal to 1 by 10, 10 power minus 2 is 1 by 100, 10 power minus 3 equal to 1 by 1000, which can be simplified as 10 power minus 1 equal to 1 by 10, 10 power minus 2 is 1 by 10 square because 100 is 10 square, and 10 power minus 3 is 1 by 10 cube. Then what will be 2 power minus 2? It is 1 by 2 square which is 1 by 4, is minus 2 to the power 4, same as 2 raised to minus 4? We will check. Minus 2 power 4 is minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2, which is 16. But 2 power minus 4 is 1 by 2 to the power of 4, which is 1 by 16. So they are not equal. So in general, if a not equal to 0, and n is a natural number, 1 by a raised to n can be written as a raised to minus n. Hence, we will say that a raised to minus n is called the multiplicative inverse of a raised to n. We know that 152 can be written as 1 times 10 square plus 5 times 10 power 1 plus 2 times 10 power 0. How to write 152.4? plus 50 plus 2 plus 0 0.4 which is 1 times 10 square plus 5 times 10 power 1 plus 2 times 10 power 0 plus 4 times 0 0.1 hence 152.4 equal to 1 times 10 square plus 5 times 10 power 1 plus 2 times 10 power 0 plus 4 times 10 power minus 1 now try to find out yourself what is the diameter of an average bacteria by using different resources or by asking with elders? Also, don't forget to find the time taken by 
light to travel 1 meter what we have learned in today's class we learned to write very small numbers using exponents when we express very small numbers exponents will be negative numbers we have also learned that a power n is called the multiplicative inverse of a power minus n thank you